I can't drive this in Tesla because it's a five speed. I'm not good at standards. You know that. It's an automatic. I need an automatic Tesla, not a five speed or a six or a 12 speed. Automatic. Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we got something really special, and this is the Sony A7R5. And while this is a really incredible stills camera, it does something really cool, and that is it can shoot 8K 24P video. And that's something I'm really excited about because there's only one other Sony camera in the A7 series, full frame cameras that can do this, and this is the newest model. And what's great about this is the new AI focusing system, and all also, it has this really cool articulating screen that can move all different directions. Also, with this camera, you can put on the battery grip as I put on here. And I'm really excited to try out this camera and see what it can do. So let's take a look at some 8K samples. So these are all shot in 8K 24P, and that's the only mode that this camera can do in 8K. Of course, it can shoot in all the regular modes in 4K. But right for this video, we're going to concentrate on the 8K because that is the highest quality image. Now, what you're seeing here is I'm cropping in using the Ken Burns effect. So it's a slow crop in, and I'm cropping in to 200%. When you crop into 200%, you're at a 4K image. So what it's giving you is still a very high quality image. So we're starting with a spectacular 8K image. And now when I'm doing these crop ins, I'm still maintaining a 4K image, which most of the time in your output, when you're outputting a 4K, it's going to look really good. So you can see here, these are all 8K images with no more cropping in for the rest of the video. So you can get an idea of what it looks like. And here is a pan to the right with the car that kind of zoomed out of the driveway. And you can see the rolling shutter, even with an, well, that shot, was very well controlled. Also, you can control it even further when you are using uh, your editing program. You can correct for that. But here I'm showing you the images straight out of the camera, just the clips edited down. Now for these clips, this was shot around twilight. Uh, putting the camera in the airplane mode to focus on the airplane subjects. And it did do a pretty good job. This was much later in the evening, and you can see it did lock on to the focus of the airplane very well. Next up, I'm going to do a high ISO shot. Also, all of these shots were all handheld. So here, this is a late night shot that I did at high ISO. And look, you can see all the stars in the sky. And you can see a little bit of grain, but it is at 32,000 ISO. So coming up next, we're going to dissect the video that was at the very beginning of this video. Now here it is. And let me tell you what's really cool about this. That is now a crop in shot. Now we're back to the wide shot. Now we're back to a crop in shot again, and then we're gonna go back to a wide shot coming up. Okay, there's a wide shot. And what's really cool about that, it's all in the same take. Now we're gonna look at another clip. Okay, so here is the wider shot. And then we're gonna go to a cropped in shot. So I froze it here, and then we're gonna move to a, to a crop shot. So here it is. So there's the cropped in shot. And then I'm going to move back to the wide shot. So basically what this does is this is regular filmmaking. It's keeping your shots looking interesting. But you're able to do this within an 8K timeline. So you can crop in on your shots, don't lose quality, and you're still keeping your subject matter interesting. So let's take a look at the articulating screen. I didn't really get a chance at the beginning of the video to show that. So this is what it can do. It basically kind of moves every which way you'd want to use it, and it's pretty nice that it's able to do that. I did notice that it seemed like the battery consumption was a little stronger on this camera, but I had the battery grip on there, and it didn't really seem to affect it too much. I was able to do my shooting for the day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have a lot more. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.